what's up guys so i always say that when i get on here <laughs> all right well, what's up so um just got to my um to the receiver um about to drop this load off i had a point at 10 i got here about 9 30 i called him i said look is there a way i was i came back i'm like look is there a way i can deliver early um he's like uh how many pallets you got tell him about 12 pallets he's like sure so i brought it on of course i get here and he want to shake his head i don't know if that's the guy I talked to but of course they want to shake their head oh you david drives on these appointment times you tell him i can come in early i'm here early just get me unloaded if you can't you can't if you can you can't because if you can't i'll park over there and we're gonna be gonna call it a day but anyways <laughs> I didn't say that to him, but anyway, um, I just, I just giggled. But anyways, um, uh, came out yesterday, which was Tuesday. Monday was Labor Day, so it didn't work Monday. Uh, delivered a load in Rock, to Rock Hill, South Carolina, Tuesday. Uh, usually they have me just like that, you know. Once they see me driving to my, uh, to my um, drop off, they have a load just like that on me. But yesterday I was, I was kind of nosing. They give me a load. They take me off a load. They give me a load. Take me off a load because I had a load coming from north charleston south carolina going to up into um kentucky okay that's that's that's, that's fine then you get me back on come on back on towards the house and they took it off me they gave me another load going from north charleston south carolina to buffalo south carolina okay 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 they took that off me gave me that kentucky load back again took that off me um they just kept giving me loads taking them off giving me loads taking off me and i finally called him like what's going on and i talked to a fleet manager one of them a fleet manager not mine but a fleet manager he was like um he said he said something about North Cackalack, and I don't know what he said. But I'm guessing he said there was not a bunch of loads coming out of there uh, straight off the week, you know, the, from the um, holiday and whatnot. It was kind of rough, um, but I didn't hear exactly what he said. Then I had put on our Avery group chat about how um, I was trying to figure out was there any loads coming out of North Carolina, what was going on, and of course, someone was like, there was no loads coming out of North Carolina. So it was a little rough trying to get up out of North Carolina, but I finally got a load going from Asheville at an Asheville terminal. Which was supposed to have picked up the fourth. I guess that's when they dropped it on the yard, the fourth. But um, uh, picked up, picked that load up. Then I uh made my way on to Nashville. I stopped in Nashville last night. Got up about seven o'clock this morning. Text with people to see if I can deliver this load early. Now I'm here in Dixon, Tennessee. Um, I have to drive two hours away to Kentucky. Uh, Calvert City, Kentucky. Pick that up. Then I'm taking time something to. Uh, Brown Summit, North Carolina. I'm sorry. Brown Summit, North Carolina. It's like, I'll probably be in North Carolina today. Where well, it's 10 o'clock over there. It's 10 something over here. It's 9 over here. I'll be in North Carolina today. I'll probably make it to my service center tomorrow. Probably see if I can go home that day. Then deliver this load Friday. Because this load don't, doesn't deliver till Friday. So I'll deliver this, Friday, that, this load. And I'm picking up uh, in a few Friday. Um, see what they have next for me but yeah i just want to get on here and, um i'll just go ahead and vlog for the week you know we have about how many days two more days i'll go ahead and vlog for the week but uh yeah i'm here right now hope you guys stand safe i hope you guys had a great um labor day weekend um and we, we're gonna see we're gonna see what it, we, we're gonna make it do what it do this week we're gonna make it do what it do it's a short week let's get to it and make it happen peace out same shipper just a different warehouse um those thing, those things that I had, I don't know what what's on the back of them, but it was it's, they're so wide that they couldn't fit them through the warehouse doors on that side where I was. So um, they told us to come to another warehouse. So currently another warehouse, getting unloaded right now. Then I'm headed to this next place in Kentucky. But um, when I get there, I'll see you guys there. Other than that. got here i got here now i'm here in uh calvert city uh i'm about to say kansas um calvert city kentucky and um get here and i walk up to the gate got my shorts on shirt already tucked in looking looking, looking clean you know looking clean wearing the avid red i uh, get there he was like uh this is your first time here i'm like yeah Maybe I did something wrong. I came in the wrong way or something. But I, I read the gate. I seen the gates and I knew which way to come in. So I said, I knew it couldn't, couldn't have been that. He was like, uh, you can't wear shorts once you pass through the gate. Uh, so he didn't check me in. He was real cool about it. He was like, do you mind going to change? I said, I don't care. So I went and changed, put some um, pants on, went back. Uh, he didn't. He still didn't, couldn't sign me in. I had to go walk 
like a minute or two down to this little uh like a few seconds down to this little uh container stand in this little square look up at the tv and that's how they check my temperature came back signed me in got my paperwork it's a dropping hook so i'm not complaining too too much but uh i thought it was just funny that i had to do all that just to come in this building but it is what it is but um luckily i have some pants on here but i keep everything in my closet so i'm good but uh, anyways about to pick this up um dropping hook and head towards north carolina and see what it do but uh until then until then <laughs> yeah. look to my trailer i got i gotta show you guys this beauty i gotta show you guys this beauty. let me check everything check my lights and everything and so i'm hooked I'm connected so i don't hit my head look at it look look at that dude. look at that look how clean she is this sucker is beautiful so you know why you know why look at that. look at it oh god look at that mud fly look at that um, brand spanking there but i'm we finna work her today she finna go to north carolina with me that's why right there 2017 2017 2017 brand spanking you too look at him good god almighty oh, i should i hate when i do that left the darn uh good god almighty then left the darn um That sucker wanna buck away, she'll buck away, huh? I don't think I'm gonna scrap her up. I probably will though. It's gonna safe side, but if she wanna buck away, she can. That's how big that sucker is. But um, let me put this down. I'm trying to talk to y'all and do this at the same time. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys how nice and new that darn trailer is. Look at her, look at her. Look at the ties, the mud flaps. Look at the side of it. Good God almighty. <laughs> That's a beauty, bro. That is a beauty. But anyways, we about to head up out of here. And um, I'll see you guys on the other end. Peace out. I tell you to get that sucker on the line, that's what you do. When they say they want that sucker on that line, you put it on that line. Let's check this out. What's up, guys? So. I say the same thing every time I come here. What's up, guys? So, <laughs> all right, all right, let's get it together. Um, just took a shower here in Nashville. Just took a shower. Um, the last time I talked to you guys, I don't know where the heck I was. Anyways, um, dropped my load off in Hickory, North Carolina. I think I was in Hickory, North Carolina. I dropped that load off in Hickory. I don't know where I was when I last talked to y'all. But I dropped my load off in Hickory. Um, I picked up about an hour and... Uh, no, there wasn't. I want to say about 44 minutes in Hudson somewhere. Picked up a load. Um, now I'm here in Nashville. I'm going to deliver about 12 minutes away. 17 minutes away in the morning. Picking up in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. And um, taking that to North Carolina. And it has to be in uh virginia at 8 30 monday morning which is the 13th i have dropped that off at a walmart distribution um and the place i went to the darn place that i went to a couple a month a, uh, a couple months or so ago and i was there for darn seven hours i got to go back to that darn place tomorrow i'm like what the heck somebody you want to cuss I mean, they, I mean, come on now. I'm at the house. I'm literally, literally at the house. I'm in North Carolina. Tomorrow, Friday, you know you, we get weekends at home and you want to send me all the way out here. I mean, it just, it just, it, 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 it pissed me off. Cause I'm like, good God, can I, can I get home on a Friday early enough? Lately, I've been getting home seven o'clock PM, nine o'clock PM, 10 o'clock PM. Heck, heck, one time I got home 12 o'clock Saturday morning. I mean, what the heck? So that, that 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 that's something that pisses me off. That's something that's annoying sometimes. Um, I wish we had more predictable home time. But hey, that's trucking. That's trucking. So it is what it is. But if, if you're off for a weekly home time, I mean, come on now. But hey, as long as I get home on the weekend, I'm fine. But this, that just makes me mad when you're in your state and they send you the opposite direction. But anyways, I'm about to get in here to eat. Um, 
I will talk to you guys tomorrow whenever I get up. Um, I'll be up I'm going to get up at 6. I have to have that load there by 7.30. It's about 12 minutes. So I'm going to get up at 6, eat a little bit, uh, get myself together for the day, and uh, we're going to head there. Then I got to pick another load up at 9. Probably have to wait there about 7 hours. So uh, I probably won't get home until Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon and got to head back out Monday. So um, we're going to see how that goes. Oh, God, you got to love it. You got a little trucking. Woo! During lips, Ashley. My bad, y'all. I just took a shower. I got to go loosen up. But anyways, I'm about to get back in this bad boy right there. And we finna um, close it in for the night. We're going to close it in. So, peace. What's up, yo? So, I'll tell you another thing that ticks me off. Uh, get the load yesterday, like I was telling you. I had to come into Nashville. Uh, drop it off. 7.30 in the morning, right? 7.30. It's now 8.51 and I'm still, I still got the load up under me. Still waiting to get unloaded. Um, but I get here. Well, I'm not waiting to get unloaded. I'm just waiting. I get here and um, go check in and everything. He tells me, oh, your appointment time is not until um, 10.30. So come back at 11. I mean, don't, I mean, come on now. Come on now. If you know my appointment timing till whenever they tell me it is, don't give me no 7.30 appointment time. So I don't know who's wrong in this situation, but I'm pretty sure these people are right. They got an email from C.H. Robinson or whoever they, you know, break the load, load off to them and whatnot. So they, he told me, came here and checked. He told me, um, uh, it was at 10.30. So I'm just sitting here waiting. Uh, I call my fleet I'm like, I call him right, right at 7.30. I'm like, what do you want me to do? Um, so I'm waiting here some back and it's about to be nine o'clock now. And I got here at 7.30. So um, I've been waiting around, waiting around. I'm gonna call them again and see what you know, see what the holdup is. I mean, it's Friday. People are ready to get home. Anybody got time to be sitting here waiting around? You know, either pick the right appointment time so I can save my hours and come at my right time, or tell me to take this load back to Nashville and let a local driver or another driver bring it here and let me go pick up my next load so I can head to the house. But uh, anyways, um, I'm gonna wait here and see what's going on. If I got to wait, I will. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I just get home tomorrow. It is what it is. But are we gonna see? Cause that 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 really ticks me off. You know, don't tell me seven thirty if you know good and well it ain't at seven thirty. Or don't don't even make no don't. Come on now, have some communication with these people. You know, I could have stayed where I was in my darn bed till at least nine, and uh, made my way over here. Got here at ten thirty or eleven o'clock whenever they wanted me. They told me to get here and just do that. You know. But uh, anyways, we're just sitting here waiting now. Just sitting here waiting, just playing the waiting game. You know, we we you want us to, you want us to always be on time. But at the end of the day, we always gotta wait. You know, we were rushing to wait. But uh, that's that patience. You gotta have patience. So um, sitting here right now, I'll update you guys in a few. See what's going on. But until then, peace out. Been here since about seven thirty. Here it is, about ten thirty. Uh, just told me to wait till about ten. They got me in. They worked me in at ten. Um. Told me not to come until 11, but they worked me in at 10. Okay, so it's been a day already. So it is what it is. About to open these doors up back in. See how long it's going to take them to. I can break that. See how long it's going to take them to unload me. And I'll get back at you guys. <laughs> All right.